In this updated tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to edit videos with the YouTube video editor, including the latest interface and features and how to make the most out of them. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. And all the links to everything I mentioned in here, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Now the free built-in YouTube video editor is a simple but surprisingly powerful tool for quickly trimming, splicing, and editing your videos online. Now since we released our last tutorial, it's actually gone through a few upgrades. The editor was originally designed to help you perform quick edits on your videos without needing to waste time re-uploading or downloading your completed live streams. Now though, it's not only a great tool for making simple changes to your videos that are already up on YouTube, like removing a section of your video, blurring out a face, a phone number, or editing down your live streams, or fixing copyright claims for music on your videos, being able to replace music in your videos but now you can also use it for complete edits on simpler projects as well. So to help you get the most out of it, we're gonna do a full walkthrough and I'm gonna highlight the key features in the YouTube editor and how to use them. Okay, now there's a couple of different ways that you can find and open up the YouTube video editor. You wanna start by heading over to your YouTube channel and then you can either go ahead and find the video that you want to edit. So let's pick this one here, how to create a YouTube channel. Video. If you new, pause that guide talking, you can then come down to edit video. And then over on the left here, you've got editor. Now, if you wanna edit down a video that's not public on your channel, then we can just come over here to manage videos. It's gonna open up the YouTube studio dashboard area. Come down here to content, which it should have already loaded at. And then you'll see a full list of all of your videos in here, whether they are public, unlisted, or private. Also, your live streams will be listed under this tab here. So if you wanna edit down a live stream, then this is where you'll find it. So I'm gonna pick this first live stream here, and we will do some editing on that. So I've selected it. Again, we come across to editor on the left side here, and this will then open up the YouTube video editor. So I'll give you a quick overview of the interface first before we jump into how it all works. So this is obviously your playback area. This is where you can see your YouTube video and the edits that you're making. You've got controls here to play, to skip back 10 seconds, skip forward 10 seconds, your volume adjustments here, turn it up or down or mute it. And then over on the side here, just like the regular YouTube player, you also have speed control. So you can slow down your video or speed it up in here as well. Just the playback of that video. Down the bottom here is the editing timeline. This is where we can see our video here, the little thumbnail images of our video right through from start to finish. Underneath that is the audio waveform or the visual representation of the audio in our video. Down below that one again is where you can specify ad breaks in your videos. If you're already part of the YouTube part in a program, you've got monetization enabled on your channel, then you can actually specify where you wanna have ad breaks in your video from inside this video editor too. The next one down from that is where we can blur out sections of our video. And the one down the bottom here is where we can edit and customize up our end screens, the last 20 seconds of our videos. Now we can zoom in and out on our timeline here using the plus and minus to get more granular control. We can make some minor adjustments to this layout as well by clicking this little resize button here, we can make our timeline area bigger or smaller it's by dragging that up and down. Over here, we have our trim button, which we'll jump into next. That's where we can start to trim down our footage, remove sections. Then up here, we've got your undo and redo buttons in case you're making any mistakes. We can discard or cancel out of all of our changes with this button here. And obviously we can save our changes with the next one here. Now these three little dots here next to it, the little options panel, we actually now have the ability to save whatever changes we're making in here as a new video. So we don't just have to overwrite this existing one. If say you've done a live stream and you wanna keep one full version of that live stream in its entirety, then you can make any changes here, edit out some of the Q and A or whatever it is, any mistakes in your videos, and then save it out as a totally new video with this option here. Now, if you have gone through and you've made changes to your videos previously using the YouTube video editor and you wanna undo them, then you can open up the YouTube editor like we have here and come up to this option here, revert to original, and that will take it back to how the original video was. And the next one down here is a handy one if you're gonna be using this a bit. This is the keyboard shortcuts. So instead of using, say, the sliders here to zoom in and out, we've got keyboard shortcuts that you can press 
to trigger that functionality. And likewise, all of your playback and a lot of the controls in here have a keyboard shortcut assigned to it. So that's a quick overview of the interface. Now let's start trimming down this video. Let's remove a few sections from it. So let's come up here to trim. This is now in trim mode. We can see we've got this blue box around the outside of our video. Maybe I'll bring this up a bit so we can see it a bit higher. We also get this panel that appears down the bottom now with split, cancel, and preview. So that's another way that you can know that you are in trim mode. So let's say that we wanna remove something at the start of this video. We wanna make sure that we are clicking towards the start of our video and when we can zoom in and let's just say with this video here that i didn't start the actual content until around here 55 seconds in all we need to do to remove that start that first 55 seconds is come across here to that blue line and we get an arrow that appears so if we click and drag on that and then move it across to where we want our video to start somewhere around here then that is now essentially trimmed off the start of our video. So that is now going to start at this point. You can see that all of that previous stuff is still there, but it's grayed out. So if we try to play this now, let's go back over here. Let's click so that our playback head is here and let's hit play. We see people get and you see that it jumps straight to this section starts playing from here. So this is now the start of our video. So just the same, let's go and trim the end off our video. I've zoomed out. Let's click towards the end of our video. Let's zoom back in. And let's say for the sake of this video that we want our video to finish here. We'll again, come across to that blue line. We'll grab it and move it back to where we want our video to stop. And that now is the end point of our video. Now, obviously with this to find the areas that you want to cut or trim out, you can just click to that section and then you can press play Q and A to play through that content to make sure that that is where you want to be making edits or to find the bits you want to fix up. But let's say, for example, that you want to remove a section in the middle of the video, not just the start or the end. You want to go through your content, find those sections that you want to remove. Let's say that we want to remove this section here. So I will come across to here and I will click. Then we want to come down the bottom to split. So we're going to split our clip at that point. So then we just come up to this blue bar, blue line that was created, and we click and drag on from that one. And we're essentially here highlighting the section that we want to remove from our video. So let's say we want to remove that chunk there. Our video will play through from here and then jump to here seamlessly now with that section removed. So we can go through our video now and add a split anywhere that we want to remove any sections of our videos. Now, it's important to note here that you actually can't pick up and move around the footage and change the order of your footage. This YouTube video editor is built for trimming down existing content or trimming down videos that you've got uploaded already on your YouTube channel but we can't use it to add new video clips to our videos or to move around pieces of our existing videos either. Now, if you wanna undo any of these edits that you've made, you do have that undo button up the top, or you can just remove an individual split by hitting the little X above it. So if you press on this one here now, then it's going to remove that split. So that content is gonna play through as it originally was. So this tool is great if there is a section of your video or multiple sections in your video that you need to remove or trim out. Now, once you're done trimming down your video, you actually can't come up here and hit save. You have to hit preview first. So if we hit preview, now that save option at the top has become available to us. So make sure you're hitting preview, otherwise you won't be able to save the edits that you've made. So if there's sections of your video that you need to remove because of a copyright claim or anything like that, that trim functionality is a great way to do it. But the other thing that you've got access to is to add in some music tracks to either cover up that section or to replace the audio in that section entirely. So if we come across to the start here, let's hit the little plus here for audio to add an audio track. This is then gonna open up in the top corner here, YouTube's music library. Now, the library is much bigger than what you will see here. So you can actually search for the type of music that you're after, or if you've used the YouTube music library before, you might've already starred or saved or favorited some music tracks in here. Or to make it even easier for you to find music tracks, I do find it easy just to click on this audio library button here. That'll open it up in its own tab and it gives you a much bigger screen to be able to go through and find and listen to find the ones that are gonna be a fit for your content. So once you find those tracks, then you can just press the little star here next to it. And then when we go back to the YouTube video editor, you can see that those just show up under starred. So it's much easier to find the content that you like or that you've previously used before. Then if you wanna add it to your project or add it to your video, you just need to come across to the add button here. So let's pick this one here. 
you hit add, it's gonna drop it down into our timeline, into our video at that point. Now, this is something that now we have the ability to pick it up and to move it around. So if you only wanna add this music track in a specific section of your video, then you can just pick it up and drag it to where you want that audio to play. And again, it's always handy if you zoom in on that area so that you've got more control over the placement of that track. Now with each music track, you actually don't need to use it in its entirety. You could just use a small section of each track if you'd like. So if we go to the start of the track, let's say we wanna remove some of the start, we can just click and drag on that end and we're able to adjust the start time on that same as we did with trimming down our footage likewise if we wanted to finish a little bit earlier then we can drag that to remove the end of that audio track too now if we click on this little audio adjustment level here then we get to choose our audio mix so right now this music track is played on full that's actually going to overwrite what i'm saying in this video so any other video content that you've got playing behind it this audio will take over that audio at the default setting so if i play this back now we can see that it's just the music playing but if i want to adjust that then we can come in here to that volume level slider again let's drop it down and now let's play it producer director not an on-camera talent not someone that, that sits so now we're able to have a mix of both the audio so we can hear what i'm saying and we can hear the music i would say it's probably not the best choice of music but eh, there's lots of options in there now the other new addition in regards to audio with the youtube video editor they now let you have multiple tracks so you're not just limited to one track so if we want to add another one in here now let's pick this one two moons then we can have a second audio track we will have to zoom out because it's going to default to put it back at the start of our video but we can again move it along and position it wherever we'd like it. So you could have one music track finish and then the next one start automatically or even have them overlap a little if you'd like. So you don't get a ton of control with this, but this is a lot better than what it used to be. It used to just be limited to one audio track with not a lot of control. So I'll zoom back out now. So the next thing you can do in this YouTube video editor is adjust the position of ads inside your video. So you need to be in the YouTube partner program. You need to have monetization enabled for this specific video. And then this section will be enabled. So if we just click on one of these little gray markers here, these are actually all the ad positions that YouTube has automatically placed in our video that is around an hour 10 long. So that's a lot of ad breaks it's added in here. So you can just choose place automatically and it's going to do what it's done here and put in a lot of them. Or you can go through and you can manually remove them or adjust them. So if there's any that you want to remove, we can just press the little trash can and you can see them disappearing from the bottom down here. Likewise, if we want to have one at a specific time, we can either pick one up and move it back to where we want it or we can come across to where we wanna have an ad break and just hit add an ad break and that's now gonna be added at that time. So while it is a little interesting how many they've added in here for an hour 10 video, it's pretty cool that you can at least come in and adjust them or remove them if you'd like to. Now it does say here as well that even if you've got these ad break sections placed in your video it actually doesn't guarantee that ads will appear there for every viewer but it's still awesome to see that we can have some control over where and how many of these things are happening inside of our videos now the other primary feature in this youtube editor is in regards to end screens which is this bottom line down the bottom here so we can add in our end screens or our clickable links at the end of our videos from in here too so if we go down here to the little plus button and we can add in here either an end individual element, like a single link or a link to a channel, subscribe button, a playlist or a video, or there's also templates you can use in here as well. So I'm gonna go apply template. And you can see that it's giving us the option of using some of their preset templates here to set up our end cards. Or we also have the option to import from a video. So if you've already gone through and you've set up end cards on other videos and you like the layout, you like the content, then you can just import it from one of your existing videos as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this one here. One video, one playlist, and one subscribe button. And you'll see that it appears down the bottom here on that row. So obviously we're on a really long video. We wanna to come to the end, we wanna zoom in. So again, we've got more control, more detail, and we can see that the default length of these here is for the 20 seconds. So we can't make them any longer, but we can shorten them down. We can even have them appear one by one. If we want the subscribe button to appear first, uh, then 
that link there for the best video for the viewers and then they're going to show up in that order as the video plays through so if we hit play on this now next year their year for you get the subscribe button sure up here then the video I look then to video one then video on two there. And likewise, for each one of these three that are down here, we can click on them and get options and set them up in the top here. So if we want to change what type of video that is or which video that's linked to, we could link it to our most recent upload, the best video for the viewer, so YouTube's auto suggestion, which is what that's on here now, or we could go through and choose a specific video. And just the same for the playlist. If we press on that one, it's asking us to select a playlist. Uh, let's just say this one here, how to make videos on Android. And that is now linked in there as well. So again, once you've gone through, you've got everything set up, you've made your edits, don't forget to come up here and hit save. Or if you wanna save it out as a new video, then you can come over here to these three little dots and hit save as new. Now, when you do save your video, the changes aren't instant. Your viewers are going to see the old version of your video, the original video, until YouTube has processed that video. And as for how long it takes for YouTube to process your video, it really comes down to how long your video is. If it's just a really short clip that you're making changes to, then it can be done in a matter of minutes or upwards of a few hours if you're editing down a longer video like we are here. So now if you wanna blur out parts of your video, you wanna come down here to where it says blur parts of your video, or come over here to this blur area and press the little plus button next to it. Then you get to choose face blur or custom blur. So if we go ahead and press face blur, then it's gonna go ahead and it's going to detect all the faces that are in our videos. Now, depending on how long your video is, it could take quite a while for it to go through and detect all the faces, but they're gonna be shown here. Now, obviously in this video, it was just a live stream with me talking to camera. There's no one else in here, but it's gone through and picked out three different faces for me. So you would then just go ahead and pick out the face that you wanted to blur or the person that you wanted to blur and go apply, but you're gonna pick whoever it is that you wanna remove from it. And you get a new video layer created here and we can see that it's currently running the length of the entire video. If you only wanna blur that person out for a short section of the video, then we can shorten this area down as well for just the section that that person's going to be in. To undo that blur or to remove it, we can just hit the little trash can here, delete button. And likewise, if we wanna come back and choose a custom blur, then we can go through and we can select either a rectangle or an oval. We can draw out the section here on this area that we want to blur. We can choose if we wanna track that object or if we just wanna fix the blur position. So if we just go fix blur position, then it's just gonna be static on the screen. So if you're just gonna blur out a mobile phone number or something that you've left in the video or something you don't wanna have in there, then it's cool that you've got some options. So again, you've got this area down the bottom here. We can just select the area of the video that you wanna have that blur show up for. You might want to zoom in to get a bit more granular with it, but YouTube makes it really easy for you to control this stuff. And it has actually saved us on a number of videos where somehow my mobile number has made it through or there's been a stream key or some information through that we don't wanna have public on a video. So now that you're up to speed with the built-in YouTube video editor, if you're looking for something more, if you're looking for actual video editing software, then check out the two videos I've got linked on screen, one for PC users, one for Mac users, all designed to help you decide the best video editing software for you. I'll see you in the next one.